Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of The Daily. It's Thursday, February 17th, here with Jason Seguini. I'm Nick Fershaw, we're at the Reach 11 Complex outside of Phoenix and Jay. We're back at it today. The Columbus Crew, Houston Dynamo, 1 p.m. Eastern. You can follow that live chat on MLSsoccer.com. What do you expect from the game? Well, this will be our last chance to see Columbus before next week's Champions League matchup against Real Salt Lake. We're expecting them to play three 40-minute periods. So the Columbus starters likely to play the first uh, two periods of that, get 80 minutes in uh, before next week. We've seen mixed results from Columbus throughout the preseason, so really another chance to, for them to kind of gain uh, some footing ahead of that Real Salt Lake game because Real Salt Lake's been playing on all cylinders. Yeah, the last time we saw the crew come out, uh, a 2-0 loss to the Colorado Rapids, and we've heard some rumors around the camp with Columbus about Robbie Rogers stepping forward in 2011, saying it's going to be a very big year for him, a lot of uh, expectations for him. Moving on to the Houston Dynamo, also in action today, Jermaine Taylor, the international defender from Jamaica, signed yesterday. What do you make of the pickup? Well, I think it's good. It adds depth to the Houston back line that already has uh, Bobby Boswell and Eddie Robinson. We've seen both of those guys struggle with injuries at times, so you need some depth back there, and I think he's, he's shown he's capable player. He's played a couple games in this preseason, done okay for himself. Well, one of the teams we've been watching is out of town today, the Colorado Rapids taking off, but the Vancouver Whitecaps coming into town for action uh, less of this week and in the weekend. And you're out of here too. I know you've been here for a while, but you're leaving today. Yeah, headed home for a couple days, but then next week um, I'll be in Orlando for the Disney Classic, Toronto, Houston, FC Dallas, and then the local um, USL team, Orlando, will be involved in that tournament. It's Thursday and Saturday, two double headers. You can see those games on Thursday, stream live on MLSsoccer.com. On Saturday, they'll be on ESPN3, so you'll be able to see all the action from Orlando. Yeah, a lot of fans can be very excited about those live streams. And also stay tuned to MLSsoccer.com as the coverage kicks into gear for the CONCACAF Champions League. Real Salt Lake and Columbus Crew, you mentioned it, February 22nd. What can we expect from that? Uh, a huge game, and obviously this is going to be uh, one of the MLS teams will be in the semifinals of Champions League. So this is the first of two games. They'll play a, a return leg in Salt Lake the next week. So we'll see which team moves on. And, and they really have a decent path to the final um, at will they'll t where they'll take on a Mexican team. So it really, it's lining up well. We'd like to see the MLS teams do well in this tournament. Yeah, again, that game, February 22nd, Real Salt Lake and the Columbus crew. One last thing before we get out of here, the Extra Time Radio podcast going to come up later today. We sat down with Marvell Wynn and Anthony Wallace of the Colorado Rapids poolside yesterday. A nice chat with two very good guys. Yeah, those guys are very entertaining. So uh, good episode. I think you'll enjoy it. Check it out on iTunes or Buzzsprout. And that's it from uh, Reach 11 here in Phoenix, here on MLSsoccer.com.